All right, let's take a look at Dub Senior's coaching contract. I got seven years on the contract. Where's my, where's the dollar figure at, man? We're one win away from the, the target of eight. There's our lone two recruits this year, but look at that, man. We got a wide receiver who's pretty fast and a guard who's, uh, looks like he might be okay. 70 overall. Eh, not bad, not bad. There's your top 10, Bama up there, USC up there, Oregon State sitting at 15 up one spot from last week we got to get moving boys i mean at one point we were in the top 10 and things were looking well still no osu players on the heisman watch oh well walter camp award brandon cooks on the list storm woods on the doak walker award is it doak walker i think it is well the walker award whatever and b cooks sitting atop the bullet in cough What's up, ladies and gents? It's Idaho Dub with another NCAA Dynasty video. We're back. If you watched my Road to Glory video I put up the other day, you know that I uh, had some issues with the old recording software, and basically I couldn't record. Obviously, I got it resolved, which is a good thing because I need that software in order to record these videos. So I got it resolved, but it was a nightmare, man. It took me forever. I was... Just, I hate I hate when stuff like that goes wrong like sh you know you shouldn't there shouldn't be issues like I buy a computer I buy the software everything should just work you know it should just work flawlessly there should be no issues why technology you make my life so hard <laughs> oh man but I want to talk about something a little positive today and then maybe we'll talk a little bit about this upcoming game as Sean Mannion fumbles the ball I, what is this dude I'm like doesn't matter what I'm playing. I'm like a turnover machine. I don't know what it is. We don't need that. I don't need that in my life. But I want to talk about something a little a little awesome. And by a little awesome, I mean a lot awesome. You probably heard the story. It, it the news came out like a month ago about San Francisco and the Make-A-Wish Foundation there. Uh, there's a young kid who's battling with leukemia and his wish is that he would like to be a superhero. And his choice to be a superhero was Batman for a day. So San Francisco transformed the city into Gotham for a day. And it's pretty awesome. There's a, Obviously, it's trending on Twitter, and there's a ton of people out to see the Bat Kid. And it's it's pretty amazing, man. They, he got picked up at his hotel in the Batmobile. He had to go save somebody from the Penguin. And went and had lunch. And like the streets are like ro you know roped off, and there's like a ton of fans there. And then he went and he's gonna like rescue somebody or stop the Riddler from robbing a bank, rescue a cable car full of people, and then he's gonna get a key to the city. And the photos are pretty awesome, man. I think the kid's like I don't maybe five. Yeah, I think he is five, and it's pretty awesome, man. He's got a full Batman suit, and it it's not like some you know cheap costume. It's like a full blown Batman suit and it's it's pretty sweet man it is it's pretty awesome it's it restored my faith in humanity maybe maybe not fully but it's it's awesome to see people get behind something like this and i mean the make a wish stories are kind of tear jerking most of the time anyways you know espn shows a bunch of them but this is pretty amazing i mean a full city you know a city going behind him and there's a, a getting behind him supporting him and cuz i mean that's one of like the I mean, that's like the worst, you know, kids who have a have cancer, any sort of, you know, illness that is life threatening. And it's it's I mean, it sucks for anybody to have that. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's worse when a kid has it. And I think that hits home with everybody um, when somebody, you know, who hasn't got to experience a, their life yet, um, you know, is already faced with those issues. So it's good to see this. I. I'm gonna probably check out some vi some more videos. I watched a few um, news clips and seen a lot of photos on Twitter. So it's it's pretty amazing. I'm excited to see that. It made me happy. It cheered me up on this Friday, this Friday, <laughs> where it's been a tough week for me, man. I mean, I can't. This is kind of a bad segue since I was just talking about this little guy having leukemia, but it's been kind of a rough week for me too, guys. Okay, I <laughs> as I don't know if you guys know this, I I broke my leg. 
in high school. My sophomore, going into my sophomore year of high school, I broke my leg. I was at a wrestling tournament. It was in the sun. It was like right after the end of my freshman year. I was at a wrestling tournament, a Western Regionals wrestling tournament for freestyle and Greco Roman. And my leg got caught as this kid was trying to, you know, take me down, grapple me, grapple me like two grown men do. <laughs> and my leg got caught between his and uh, broke my leg. Hairline fracture. Um, I was in a cast for a while. And thinking, looking back on it, you know, I was in a cast. I think it happened in like early June. I was out of the cast by like the end of July. And, you know, I, I did some physical therapy. And like th looking back, I'm like, you know, maybe maybe I didn't rehab that properly because like football season was coming up and I obviously couldn't play football for like the first few weeks, but I was back in there pretty quick, you know, running on it. And for somebody who just fractured their leg, I was like, I, I don't feel like the, I don't know. I'm trying to think back. I'm like, I remember having the initial x-ray. Then I was in a cast, obviously. And then after that, I just remember the doctors being like, yeah, I get some physical therapy. Like it was no big deal, you know? And now I'm, you know, 12 years down the road, because I guess I was 14 then, maybe, yeah, 14 or 15. 12 years later, this this leg is having some issues. <laughs> so I've been having some issues, because uh, I like to run, right? And so every time I run about the two and a half mile mark, I get this like bump on my right leg. Well, come to find out that um, it's probably this condition called compartment syndrome, which uh, basically I, I have two options. One, get surgery don't get surgery and just not work out so this whole week i've been battling this with, with this because it's been it's gotten like way worse and uh yeah so feel bad for me guys okay poor willard boo hoo hoo dub <laughs> oh man it's just been driving me nuts and i thought i'd share that with you guys so the moral of that story is if you injure yourself at a young age because i know some of you are pretty young obviously you're gonna bounce back quick because you're young but think about the long-term issues because I'm probably going to have some arthritis in this freaking leg. So when I'm like 60-something, I'll be like, oh, there's this. There, maybe not 60, maybe like 80. Hopefully I make it to 80. If I'm 80, I'll be telling my grandkids, oh, there's a storm up coming. I can feel it in my legs. And then that's actually true because every time it does get colder, I can feel, you know, my leg kind of aches a little bit. So I'm like a weatherman, you know, with that. I don't need... I don't need all your fancy, fancy Doppler radars. I just shove my leg out the window, and I'm like, "Whoa, it's gonna be a cold one tonight, guys." Oh man, oh, I, don't, I don't know how I got off onto that. I don't, I did not expect that story to end with me calling myself a weatherman, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes, sometimes I get a little bit off topic. Okay, <laughs> the defense finally coming up big there. It's been a rough go, man. It's been a rough go for us. That USC game, I guess we can talk about that a little bit now. The USC game a few weeks ago, ugly. How do you let Marquise Lee get behind you? Like, how? How do you do that? Probably the best receiver in the nation, even though stats-wise, Brandon Cooks is this year. But, I mean, overall, I think Marquise Lee's probably got him beat. He's a big dude. I just don't know how you let him get behind you. So we'll see what Oregon State can do this Saturday against Arizona State. You guys know I have a special, special spot in my heart for Arizona State. It's in the hateful section of my heart because I wanted to go to school there my entire life, and they rejected me. Then I appealed it, and they rejected me again. So, yeah, that was, that was nice. It was great. Storm Woods trying to get it in. Second and goal. Let's get in there, boys. Let's punch it in. Oh, uh, Storm. Two touchdowns on the day. I like it. I like it. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on this week, man. How about how about Ed Reed getting cut? How do you cut Ed Reed? You spend all that money to get him over there, and then you cut him? I, dude, I thought Dallas for sure was going to go sign him, but, but they didn't. Tough, man. Tough break. I don't know if you guys heard this story about Desi. Des Bryant, my man. And this also brings up a question I have for you guys. Oh, that was another nice defensive stand, boys. But Des Bryant was, he went to Walmart, whatever night, the PS4 release. And it's nice to know that with all that money, he still goes to Walmart. That's smart, man. That's smart. They, they're always rolling back prices there. Shout out Walmart. If you guys need some, uh, want to give me some money for advertising, just let me know. But <laughs> Desi went to Walmart to go pick up his 
PS4 and ended up buying a bunch of customers in there. Their PS4 is for them. It's like a $400 platform, man. So it's pretty awesome. I saw a bunch of people tweeting about that. I feel like I feel like I've referenced Twitter a lot on this video. Like I'm just on there all day. That's where I get my news from now, man. If it's if it's not on, if you didn't tweet it, it's not true. <laughs> oh man, but the PS4. I want to know. I I read some reviews on it, but I want to kind of I want to know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Storm Woods for a third touchdown? Are you kidding me? Wow, Stormy Storm. I like it. Should have played my Storm Woods bit there. But yeah, if you have a PS4, let me know. Are you guys getting one? I'm not a. You guys know I'm not a PS4 or a PlayStation guy, but I do kind of. I am curious about the PS4. I thought about making the change. Should I? Probably not. I got. I got too much invested in my Xbox, and I don't think I'm not get. I'm not getting the Xbox One right when it comes out either. I'm waiting until my Xbox goes kaput, or I'm forced to get an Xbox One. How? How? So yeah, let me know if the PS4 if you like that. But I just don't. I don't know why I suck so bad against defending the screen. Like, I don't, I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why? Why must I suck so bad at that? All right, boys, let's D up. 11 seconds left. Ooh, Kelly spikes it. All right. Scanning the field, huh? Oh, first, come on, boys. Come on. Let's get up there. Defense, defense, defense. Oh, we caught it. They had to call their timeout. Three seconds left. Oh, Dub, it's time to play some defense. No, stop. Oh, boo. Oh, man. I'm always playing in these freaking ESPN Classic games. Why? Why can't I just blow a team out? What is up with that? <laughs> oh, man. Got the W. Had a, that, was a good, that was a good conversation, guys. I like the back and forth between us there. <laughs> 20 to 13 is your final Oregon State over Arizona State. Let's hope that happens in real life. Man, leave a comment down below if you guys have anything, any topics, anything you want me to discuss in next week's Dynasty video. I'd be more than happy to. But once again, 20 to 13, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.